This week on The Wire, prices grow in all cities, FOMO drives first home buyers to act, and confidence keeps rates on hold. G'day guys, my name's Tim Guest, and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate, where you can get all the top stories happening this week in finance, real estate, investment, and more. Now please like, comment, and share this video, and if it's your first time tuning in, don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. So let's kick it off, let's get into our top story this week. Prices grow in all cities. So house prices are rising in both the major cities and the regional areas, and this is according to the latest figures from CoreLogic. All city and regional markets across Australia, except regional South Australia, recorded house price growth in January. And this includes Perth and Darwin, which have endured a downturn in recent years. The markets to rise the most in January were Melbourne, 1.4%, Sydney, 1.5%, and regional Tasmania, 1.3%. Hobart and regional Western Australia both rose around 1%. Now, while some are yet to declare a full recovery in Australian house prices, there were similar results in the quarter-to-quarter -quarter figures, demonstrating some consistency in the turnaround. The biggest quarterly growth was in Sydney and Melbourne, but Hobart, Brisbane, Canberra, regional Victoria, regional Queensland, and regional Tasmania all rose by between 2 and 4% in the past three months as well. And now for our next story. FOMO drives first home buyers to act. So the fear of missing out is driving the first home buyer property market, and this is according to the ME Bank Quarterly Property Sentiment Report. Around 51% of first home buyers say they intend to buy in 2020, and this is in comparison to only 39% of investors who plan to buy this year. ME's general manager, Andrew Bartolo said the recent property price recovery has likely nudged first home buyers to get in while they can, as though it's a now or never, and has created a sense of FOMO. Low interest rates and commentary in the market for the support of first home buyers may have also contributed to an increase in home buyer intentions. Investors, however, were less optimistic, but Steve Jovchesky, a property expert at finance comparison site Mozo, expects investor activity to rise in 2020. He says, APRA dropped the serviceability ratio just a few months ago, so it does take time to flow through the market and for investors' confidence to return. And now for our final story for the week. Confidence keeps rates on hold. So ongoing confidence in the housing market and falling unemployment are the likely reasons behind the Reserve Bank's decision to leave the official cash rate on hold this week. Infinite uh, Finance Specialist Erin Scully says the nation's improving unemployment, which fell to 5.1% in December, was a reason for the RBA to defer a rate cut. The CPI, the Consumer Price Index, also rose 1.8% in 2019, which was better than expected. Another reason the RBA may have decided to hold the cash rate this month is dwindling consumer confidence, she says. Now, the latest Westpac Melbourne uh, Institute, of in Institute Index of Consumer Sentiment revealed that consumer confidence fell over January due in part to the devastating bushfires. The low level of confidence is consistent with generally lacklustre reports on consumer spending and board members. But pleasingly, the index points to an ongoing confidence in the housing market. At its December board meeting, the RBA said it was prepared to ease monetary policy further, suggesting a cash rate is a cut was only a matter of time away. Now, the Commonwealth Bank, which had expected a rate cut in February, now believes the RBA will consider a move later in the year. Well, guys, that's the top stories for this week. Now, remember to like, comment, and share this video, and don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Also, don't forget to stay tuned later in the week for our next Just Ask Tim video series, and if you wanna submit a question, or there's a topic you would like me to discuss in more detail, there is a link in the post to do that. Apart from that, guys, have a great week, and remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference, and that is action. Thanks a lot, guys. See ya.